This is Cybert signing into Kane's Wrath on the map Tournament Odyssey. In the north, playing as the Orange Reaper 17. This is Heja BVB. I'm terrible with names, and people have all sorts of names with all sorts of letters in them. It never gets any easier. In the south, playing as the Cyan, this is Scorpion Rush 1, who is playing Reaper 17. So this is a Reaper 17 mirror on R16, and we have some descents coming out for both players. Now it looks like BVB has already got a bit of a scout with that early buzzer on the forces of Heja. But they have both are uh, on the forces of Scorpion, but they have both grabbed their Tib Spikes, which means that we have two opportunities for the descents on either side to potentially do some damage that's pretty far away from the base. We'll see if these guys go for the base or go straight for the Tib Spikes. This is one of those replays where I don't know where it came from. It was in my downloads folder, and it was called something like 2Cast1, which, uh, you know, I get some replays, and then sometimes I label them in helpful ways, and sometimes I label them in unhelpful ways. So I genuinely have no memory of where this replay came from or why. You know, maybe someone was like, hey, check out this noob game if you have any advice, or maybe they were like, oh, there was this incredible match and uh, you should cast I don't know. Maybe this is terrible. Maybe this will be unbelievable. Who even knows? But I did see it was Reaper 17 versus Reaper 17, and I thought, well, at the very least, that is interesting. We don't see very many Reaper 17 mirrors, and, I mean, these guys aren't building, like, zero harvesters. Yeah, got a couple of Shardwalkers out, got a couple of Descents out, tried to put some pressure on a Tib Spike. It looks like BVB is going to put some pressure on the Tib Spike on the left side of the map. And these guys just look like they're doing normal builds, and they're executing them pretty well. They're not crazy far behind. They're not doing anything that's obviously big noob moves. Uh, I guess you could say Scorpion should probably have something out here to defend against this. He uh, could have predicted that there might be some descents, given the fact that he realized his opponent was Scren. So it looks like BVB is going to get the kill on that Tib Spike. Very nicely done there by BVB. Gets kind of that free bit of damage. And this Harvester also taking a bit of damage as well. Scorpion Rush going to potentially be taking some... Well, actually, could keep putting the pressure on that Harvester. I mean, you got two Shardwalkers right there. They're uncontested. Now it's going to be two Shardwalkers versus one. The Scorpion Shardwalker actually got the first shot off, but that wouldn't matter if they uh, if they both turn to... I'm not, what is he going for? BBB going for the ultimate scout here, but now he's going to be outnumbered 3-2, to two, even a Secret Tank being added into the mix. So these Shardwalkers are not going to be nearly enough. It's straight... Okay, so the MCV moved to the natural expansion, but it's a fake out. It's a complete fake out because this is a one base tech build. That's why these Shardwalkers are going for the complete scout. He saw the harvesters, he saw the refineries on the field, and now he got the complete scout. He sees no nerve center, and BVB, I don't know what his plan is. I don't know what the, what the deal is. It's going to be fast mechas off of one base. A super delay on this refinery. Check that out. Not just 50% done as we cross the whatever minute mark in this game. The other guy, two refineries on the natural expansion. Three harvesters working away. The mechabeads are here. They have been spotted. So now Scorpion has all of the intel he needs. He's like, oh, that's why you scouted so deep with those two... What is it? Oh, that's just the descent squad over there. That's why you scouted so deep with those two shardwalkers. That's why you didn't just go for the harassment at the natural expansion because it's a fast tech one base build. Now the follow-up. BVB going for the expansion. One refinery, one harvester at the natural expansion, and it is up to Scorpion to defend this. I mean, I guess they could both sort of sit back and uh, Scorpion could tech up while BVB gets his economy rolling at his natural expansion, but then the sort of question is, why go for that over the slower economy? What are you planning to do with these mechas right out of the gate? Four mechas. Second refinery is out. Things are starting to level out. 
maybe even a slight advantage towards BVB because he's got those tib tib spikes instead of just the one tib spike that he is now going to have to repair. One harvester getting targeted down. These are not the most important harvesters, but it's still nice to have them. Also, a growth stimulator is here, very similar to the growth accelerator, but uh, slightly different for Reaper 17. Mechapedes getting targeted down, the four of them still alive, but of course, they haven't been killed off with their head segments. Crane has been spotted. Tier 3 is here, all of it potentially vulnerable, but these shard mechas are not getting any real kills. Stasis locks them down. A perfect stasis there by Scorpion. He's going to go for the surround. He's going to go for the kill on one of these mechas. One mecha down, three remain. I think some of these uh, body segments may actually be caught in that stasis. Buzzer gets sniped. It's into the descent. And now, of course, you have to figure out what is my transition out of this going to be. It's going to be a little bit awkward. The mechas are now unpowered or back in out of stasis. Two of them get immediately sniped. Nicely handled there by Scorpion Rush. Keep your cool. Keep your calm. Shut it down. In this case, the stasis was a good choice there. And he even managed to escape with his growth stimulator still surviving. So these harvesters are going to be viable a little bit longer as that accelerated growth rate on the uh, on the main base field will help them out there. That'll be a little bit nice to have those two harvesters still working away at this field. There's i Seed getting dropped down, and it looks like we are going to be seeing a pretty big eco, pretty big tech play from these guys. This is not super low income knife fight kind of game. This is not some Zocom infantry army versus infantry army sort of match. This is high tech. We've got mechapedes, we've got tripods, dev tanks all in the mix. But we are sort of going backwards on the tech tree down to disintegrators. We'll see if they get lucky. This is kind of a dumb attack. Uh, these should not be very effective this late in the game. Even on top of that, they do grab one harvester kill. The harvesters will not were not pulled away, and this was not scouted in the middle of the map by BVB or by Scorpion Rush. So uh, BVB did get that bit of damage. Stasis fires back. Can the drone ship get caught? Either way, these three tripods going to close in, and it's up to Scorpion to respond to this. No forces moving up to the high ground. He's just going to let this base fall potentially here. It's going to be four tripods versus one. Those two those two shatterers are not going to be anything. Those two uh, shard walkers, three shard walkers, are not going to be anything versus these tripods. Trying to lock him down with the with the EMP. There's the kill. All of the shatterers go down. All of the uh, shard tri uh, shard walkers, sorry, do go down. No shatters in this game. The expansion completely eliminated. BVB striking back. Scorpion getting the catch with the first stasis, but now both of their stasis are on cooldown, so we'll have no return stasis for another another minute or so. The Engineer does survive that exchange. It was a sell-off of the MCV with just a little bit of health trying to maintain. Actually, he could grab the expansion point. That might be the best thing, considering he does have the crane still. Even dropped a safety gravity stabilizer, so he's got two potential gravity stabilizers or two potential places to build an MCV from. Storm Riders, the big transition. Sometimes Storm Riders by themselves are enough to seal the deal and to win the game. But let's see if Scorpion Rush, who is not rushing and not using Scorpions, can manage to pull something out here. BVB gets the third base up faster, even though his natural expansion was significantly slower. Great scout from Scorpion Rush. He sees the entire army renegotiates over to the left side of the map in the north, and he's going to go for the main base. He's going to be able to catch the tech and shut down potentially this war factory and these reinforcements as well. Two tripods may get jumped on here as BVB's forces are completely out of position. Do you just initiate a base trade when you see your opponent's army on the opposite side of the map as yours? One tripod is down. Storm Riders targeting down. It's a mass sale. Fire sale of everything at the main base. He keeps around the tier three. He keeps around the tech just for a moment so he can start rebuilding anything else he needs back home on the left side of the map. 
Technology Assembler getting targeted down. Storm Riders will make short work of it with no real defense to speak of. Stasis Chamber is here, but it's going to get targeted down in a moment's notice. And there's the giant move out by BBB through the middle of the map down the left side. Mass descents are here, and it looks like the Tier 3 was eliminated. Yep, everything got wiped out in that main base. It's going to be a base trade one way or the other. There's the phase on the, tr on the Harvesters. Actually kind of hard to tell because of their shields that uh, they are phased there and they are invincible. They can go ahead and harvest safely from their tripods. Going to be doing battle with the Storm Riders. The descent on the ground making short work of almost everything and Scorpion selling off almost everything to get out some buzzers to try and mount some kind of defense and shut down those disintegrators. And this is going to be just a cut and run for Scorpion Rush. He's got almost nothing left. I think he escaped with a drone ship somewhere on the map. Yes, so he makes it out with whatever cash he's got in the bank. Although he does still have a tip spike. The one tip spike that wasn't eliminated earlier in this game the drone ship of BBB is also hiding in the corner of the map as it looks like the Storm Riders are going to try and tip the scales of this engagement. Tripod to tripod, dev tank to dev tank as HVB, Asia BBB falls in the face of Scorpion Rush. Those Storm Riders helping out his own tripods. And so many husks on the ground. This is now Scorpion Rush's game. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine husks on the ground, ten husks on the ground ready to go. Yeah, and that is going to be the mass portal as double portal actually gets dropped and these storm riders are looking, ooh, they miss, they miss the drone ship. We'll see if that ends up being a critical point in this match. Low power mode for BVB. He's got the cash. He's got the two tip spikes as well. So he's got the income. Not a lot, admittedly, but a little bit of income. A couple of engineers sneaking out for BVB. And yeah, take your opponent's husks first. And then go for the ones that are a little bit closer to your main base. Go for the far ones first. Engineers just capping. Husk after husk after husk. A single seeker tank getting targeted down. And Scorpion Rush has now got almost all of the... Oh my gosh, BVB trying to pull something out here. But it, Scorpion Rush has such a massive army. At the very least, he needs to kill off these husks if he is not going to capture them. A couple more engineers heading down to the low ground. Seeker tank heading over here from BVB. Descents pushing out, but they're getting targeted down one by one. Eliminated. Uh, it takes a long time for Storm Riders to actually kill Disintegrators. It looks like they do actually miss. I don't think I ever realized that Storm Riders do miss infantry units. Yeah, they, they are missing some of these shots, it seems, doing extraordinarily small amounts of damage. Scorpion Rush has basically everything hung up in this little corner of the map. There are technically not very many buildings, although he's got a ton of forces here to defend it. If Scorpion Rush wasn't the one with the Storm Riders, then BBB would have a chance. But with these Storm Riders on the side of Scorpion one, Rush, and uh, actually BBB kind of leading Scorpion to his MCB. Seeker Tank's getting some nice shots off. These Storm Riders starting to get lower in numbers. There's still three of them that are extremely low health, and then four more that are kind of medium to high health. Scorpion Rush might be able to survive with just his Storm Riders. I think he's going to go for a Nerve Center. He's got double refinery. He's got tons of Harvesters. BVB on the other side, still with a good number of Harvesters. Two refineries as well. Plus, those two tip spikes have now fallen to the forces of Scorpion Rush. So he's got those tip spikes on lock. He has got that three tip spike economy to go with all of his additional Harvesters. An engineer wouldn't be amiss by BVB just to grab that tip spike away from Scorpion. And Scorpion probably needs to just sort of cue a move to the bottom left-hand corner of the map. He needs to identify this base immediately. Triple portal coming out from BVB. And he has got a ton of descent. And does is, is somehow Scorpion Rush that is perfectly out of his vision. Scorpion Rush actually might literally have no idea that there is a giant hidden base in the bottom left-hand corner. He may not quite see this. Oh, Reaper Tripod's going to be refueling right on the front line. These couple of Seeker Tanks getting cleaned up 
probably is giving Scorpion Rush a false sense of confidence. He thinks, wow, I've pretty much got him on the ropes. He's just got a couple of secret tanks, which he's sending out willy-nilly. And now these Storm Riders might be the only thing back home defending, and it's going to initiate a second base trade, an all-out war to kill buildings. At the same time, BVB may have bought some time for himself inadvertently, Although, no, he does have a couple of buildings left over here, genuinely from back when that was an actual expansion. Scorpion Rush has got a lot of ground to cover, a lot of surface area to kill. Ooh, two random engineers sneaking around the backside of the base. I'm not sure where those guys came in, but BVB trying to go for a bit of a sneaky backstab. He hasn't cleaned up these buildings, and the Storm Riders are in completely the wrong position. Yeah, I think it's going to be another base trade, as these guys don't realize the situation that they're on. Scorpion Rush is going to think he's crushing through this base. He's going to think he's doing it in record time. Buzzer's coming in. Scorpion Rush just needs to kill these descents, but it's so many descents. The secret tanks hardly even a factor in this game and it looks like bbb can't even decide what he wants to kill first scorpion rush a little bit confused a little bit unsure he's like wait a second i killed all of your stuff how are you still in this game going heroic these descents are crushing the mcv targeting it down and they will eat a second mcv the crane being eliminated minutes ago and it looks like the mcv is just going to be taken out by the seeker tanks the descents going for the power plants trying to shut down the production and now both players Players are in dire straits as Scorpion Rush has the bigger army, but BVB has the hope of survival. The last production facility may fall. No, the secret tank not able to kill it. BVB hasn't eliminated the last portal, the MCV, the war factory, and two refineries escape in the bottom left-hand corner of the map. He also left this growth, growth stimulator, which spawns 15 credits every... I don't actually know how long, maybe every five seconds, maybe every 10 seconds. And I think Scorpion Rush is now starting to realize his mistake. He's like, wait a second, where do you even still have buildings on this map? Clustered so many dev tanks, so many tripods right here. And okay, it's going to be up to the shard walkers, up to the seeker tanks to push away these storm riders. Scorpion might be able to do it with the storm riders, killing off these harvesters. Two, three harvesters going down, a fourth harvester getting targeted down very quickly, and the storm riders getting getting pushed away to the north. A couple of uh, tr harvesters long distance mining at the third base location of BVB. This is a dangerous move, Scorpion Rush. He doesn't have hardly anything back home to defend, but unbeknownst to him, BVB doesn't really have much of an attacking force anywhere else out on the map. BVB might just fall right here, right now against the forces of Scorpion Rush, and that might be all she wrote. Scorpion Rush, those husk captures have possibly won him this game, reclaiming so many tripods that it's almost an unkillable army. And actually, BVB might just cut and run for it. His drone ship has already lifted off. It is somewhere else on the map. He's passing back. He's going back up to the north. He's trying to avoid detection and sneak out a couple of units. It's mostly shard walkers, a couple of seeker tanks as well. If he can kill off the portal, then he can at least deny any further production. There's the mass fire sale, and this should cue Scorpion Rush that he needs to get back home and defend, but at the same time, hunt down that last building Three tip spikes for Scorpion Rush, and BVB has hardly a chance to win this game. I mean, he can kill the portal. It looks like the very least he'll get that, so there won't be any more reinforcements. And the, uh, the buzzer hives aren't much of a threat to the vehicles. Shard walkers are able to pretty easily clear up descent, but a couple of tripods will crush this force. Harvesters also being brought off the line, and the descent are actually in too great of numbers. Once they close the distance, they eat up those shard walkers quite easily. Storm Wait a second. Did the Storm Riders all? No, okay. All right. There are still five Storm Riders. Three of them unbelievably low health. Wow. So BBB has a flying drone ship, but almost nothing on the ground for Scorpion Rush shoots up. So BBB is going to land in the middle of the map, one of the few dead spots for Scorpion Rush. 
and Scorpion Rush, who sort of has infinite cash, but nothing to spend it on other than a couple of support powers that he's still got access to, is hunting... Oh, wait, what was this? He got the expansion point. He's dropping an engineer and a portal. He's got his own buzzer hive. He's going to steal a refinery, drops a second portal, drops a second buzzer hive. He's going to grab a power plant as well. He's going to keep himself online. Is he going to force Scorpion Rush to kill his own structures to shut this down? And that may be enough to shut it down, but that is less stuff that BBB has to actually kill to win this game. But now the sneaky move has been sought out the expansion point will be cut down and that is it but that is like three maybe four oh that's it oh man i thought i thought bvb was maybe going to be able to mount some kind of amazing comeback uh, back and forth from these guys bvb and scorpion rush bringing the reaper 17 plays and scorpion rush actually way down in economy flatlining for a minute there and then really being the only one harvesting anything of significance for the last, I don't know, five minutes of that game and catching up there. But BVB trying to bring the plays, trying to bring some kind of surprise at the end, but unable to make it happen. Scorpion Rush taking that game almost with the comeback from BVB. What a match these guys did play. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it. And this is Cyber signing out.